good morning everyone so we were discussing the question paper of beer and friends examination 2018 in our previous two videos we have covered up to question number 20 and in today's video we will start from question number 21 if you haven't watched the previous two videos you can watch from the description box by clicking on the link given below so let us start our today's video and start solving the question paper from question number 21 the question number 21 is good schools are known by its when we say that a school is very good is it when high achievements of uh, it should be pupils okay does high achievement of pupil indicate good good school or promotion and practice of ideas then having highly qualified teachers then infrastructural facilities look all these are important to have a good school but promotion and practice of ideas which what ideas they possess what uh, what their thinking thinkings are this is the best indicator for a good school then group consciousness is what people generally feel and think look the word is group consciousness so is it pe uh, general feeling and thinking of people or awareness or consequences for society then common concern for people then re reflections of supreme soul group consciousness is actually the common concern for people to uh, concern for the people as a whole whole society then most appropriate purpose of learning is it personal adjustment or modification of behavior or social or political awareness or the preparing oneself for employment learning in its definition you will learn the definition of learning given by various educationists in your weird course so for now you only know the meaning of learning learning is just the modification of behavior the definition of learning itself says that it, uh, says that the learning is nothing but the modification of behavior so correct option is modification of behavior then the quality of teaching is reflected at best when we say that the quality of teaching is best when the quality of questions asked by the students then the past percentage of students attendance of students in the class duration of silence maintained in the class when you say that the teaching is of best quality if uh, does it shown by the um, past percentage of students no attendance of students in the class or duration of silence maintained in the class these two are not the most appropriate options the most appropriate option is quality of questions asked by the students then only it indicates that the students are understanding better so that they can question then question number 25 the writings are a little bit blurred here i will uh, read it for you the main objective of teaching at the level of higher education so at the level of higher education what are the main objective what is the most appropriate option from the option below about the main objective is it to develop the capacity to take decisions or to prepare students to pass examination or to give new information or to motivate students to ask questions during lecture option b c and d are very weak options because only to pass exam or to get new information higher education is not there higher education is in such a uh, stage of a student's life when they take new decisions so highest education should be such that uh, they can take the decisions for themselves so option a is the correct answer then the mental development of a student means ability to learn a language the development of brain the development of thinking faculties and 
द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ क्लैरिटी इन लैंड मैथमेटिक्स सो मेंटल व्हाट डज मेंटल डेवलपमेंट मींस इज इट डज इट मीन हाउ मच हाउ वेल यू कैन डू मैथमेटिक्स और हाउ व्हाट इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ योर ब्रेन नो टू लर्न ए लैंग्वेज और डू ए मैथ इज नॉट द मेंटल डेवलपमेंट और इवन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ब्रेन ओनली इज नॉट अ मेंटल डेवलपमेंट मेंटल डेवलपमेंट मीन्स हाउ वेल यू कैन थिंक so the development of thinking abilities then during a conference the mother of a third grader asks the teacher how she can help improve her child's reading ability of the following the poorest recommendation that you can give so during a parent teacher meeting or or a conference of such type the mother of a child who is reading at third grade or class 3 ask how can she develop or improve the reading ability of his child her child so what is the most poorest recommendation so most weak recommendation to develop reading ability encourage the child to make regular visits at public library this is a good recommendation this is not the poor uh given the child books at presents for birthdays and special occasions this is also a very good recommendation to reward the child with books take the child on trips or to interest places of community this is also a nice recommendation uh to improve reading ability last one encourage the child watching television this is the most poorest recommendation because watching television in no way help the child to improve his uh, reading ability this is the poorest then question number 28 when a normal student behaves in an erratic manner erratic manner means in a erroneous manner in a, a wrong manner in the class you should you would what you would do pull up the student and then and there you will pull him and um, ask to go here and then there or talk to a student after the class or ask the student to leave the class ignore the student out of these four talking the student after the class is the most appropriate because the student is not a notice student he is a normal but he is suddenly uh, behaving in a erratic manner so you should consult to him uh, after the class and question number 29 which of the following is not a statutory body so option a is national assessment and accreditation council nac then university grants commission all india council for technical education aict and national council for teacher education nct ugc aict and nct all these three are statutory bodies statutory means the organizations or bodies which have been constructed under the under any legislative act nac which is national assessment and accreditation council is not a statutory body because it is not formed it is not formed under any legislative act then which of the following the question number 30 which of the following is not a fundamental right right of free and compulsory education all children up to age of 14 this is fundamental right then right against exploitation this is also fundamental right right to food and all of the above so not a fundamental right if you if the question is then answer is the right to food so let's end our video here we have discussed up to question number 30 and then the rest questions will be discussed in another video thank you everyone